Uh, this is still Larry Cohen, and this is still Trailers from Hell, and we are going to show the trailer for Drums Along the Mohawk, one of uh, John Ford's greatest films in color, no less, beautiful color, and uh, starring Henry Fonda and Claudette Colbert. This is one of the best of the uh, French and Indian War kind of movies up till the time that Michael Mann remade The Last of the Mohicans. I think Drums Along the Mohawk was the best picture of its kind on this subject matter of early America and fighting the tribes like the Iroquois. Everything about it is beautiful. I mean, the period is beautifully recreated. The casting's impeccable and uh, the action is sensational. It's just one of the perfect movies. The trailer's in black and white, but the movie is in fabulous Technicolor. Two great stars of the period. Henry Fonda had a, quite a relationship with old John Ford, and later on, I guess he would star again for John in Ford Apache. Ford was a sensational director. Everybody from Orson Welles on down said the greatest movie director was, without a question, John Ford. This picture proves it. It was made, I think, for 20th Century Fox. John Ford had an interesting relationship with Daryl F. Zanuck at Fox in that he'd shoot the pictures like How Green Was My Valley and Grapes of Wrath and this picture. And when he finished shooting him, unlike the directors today, John Ford would just leave the studio and leave the film to be edited by Daryl Zanuck and his staff. He didn't cut the pictures together himself. He let Zanuck cut his pictures because the way he shot them, he was pretty confident there was only one way they could put them together. They didn't give them enough material to assemble the picture any other way than what he wanted. But still, very few directors today would leave a picture to be edited by the studio. But let's face it, look who the studio executives are nowadays. At least with Zanuck, he thought he was in the hands of a consummate professional, and it was true, because the films all came out beautifully. Ford just took off and went on to the next movie, and left everything, the music, the sound effects, the mix, all the post-production in the hands of 20th Century Fox Studios, and went on and made his next film. Now, there's nobody today who would do that. In fact, directors fight to the death to have control of all those elements. And still, it doesn't help. Well, you'll notice the trailer's in black and white, but the movie is in fabulous Technicolor. So anyway, if you haven't seen Drums Along the Mohawk, you're going to have a treat. Mm -hmm.